Good afternoon. Um, carrying on with the um, Roxy's Journalist Stitchery Treasures number four, basically. Um, yeah, I need to stitch these hearts down. I don't know if you can hear that rain. I don't know whether to go and shut my windows. <laughs> Chucking it down, they'll be all right. It'll be fine. They're only on small gaps anyway. Um, yeah, and I thought I haven't used my beads forever. And I've got a lot of them still. I sold most of them, but um, yeah, I've, got, I've still got quite a few. So I was thinking of blue ones. I think yeah, I think I'll do blue round the blue hearts, and then I've got this sort of pinky. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but anyway, sort of pinky purpley colour around there, and then I've got some A B purple ones, which would tie in the purple from the other bits. So I'm just going to stitch on these. So I hope you are all right with that. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. It's a bit late in the afternoon actually I'm doing this. So um, it's gone very, very dark because there's a huge black cloud hanging over my house at the moment. Absolutely throwing down the rain. Oh, which is a joy. Um, I've got a beading needle ready to go. Um, yeah. I've, um, I wasn't going to do anything today, I wasn't going to film today because um, my uh, middle daughter has moved into her property today so I've been over there helping her I said to her let me come and help you at least sort the kitchen because I always think once your kitchen sorted life can continue you know the rest of it you can do whenever so I popped over there and um, yeah, helped her put the all the kitchen stuff away. She's Captain Chaos, my middle daughter. That's the only way I can describe her. When she packs, you know, like me, the kitchen stuff would all go in one box and it'd all go in the kitchen. No, 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 no. Not Annie. <laughs> it goes... It, it, I say she's just literally Captain Chaos. I was like, I was emptying these boxes, and there was stuff for the bathroom and um, jewelry, and you know, and I, I just, I should know better. I know she, I know that's how she works. That's how her brain works. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether she's a touch autistic or what. But sorry, I'm just looking for my beading mat. Um, yeah, she's a little bit chaotic as our Annie. So. Uh, um, I saw it. Hold on, I'm coming. Oh, I don't know where it's gone. Right, we'll just have to make do. I'll see if I can. I was going to tip it on there, but that's not going to work, is it? Look at me talking about Captain Chaos, and I haven't even got anything to put me beads on. Um, a bit of felt. That's what I need. A bit of felt. Hold on. Oh. You'll do. Bit of wadding. Sorry. We'll get there in a second. Yeah, perhaps I perhaps I know where she gets the chaos from. Uh, what am I doing? Pinks first. Let's do the pinks. Yeah, so they're sort of like a raspberry. I don't know if you can see. Let me see what you can see. Yeah. Raspberry. I say it's very dark because the um the weather has just suddenly turned. It was beautiful and sunny over there where I was helping her out. Anyway. The kitchen is sorted. They're now away for the weekend because um, her partner's children live in Wales. So they're off to Wales for the weekend. I said, but you've just moved into a house. And she went, I know. It's like, oh, OK. <laughs> it really is. It's absolute chaos. Ah. But to be fair, they didn't know they were getting this house. So it's come as a very nice surprise. So... Um, um, I think I'm just going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? I might put on two or three. Let's do three because these are rather tiny beads. Um, yeah, so uh, he's, um, it's his weekend with his children. So they're going to Wales for the weekend. And they're back Sunday. It's like, right. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's such a beautiful house. I said to her, if you are not happy in this, then you don't deserve, deserve to be in happy in anything because it is most beautiful. It's only a two bed, but boy, has it got some room in it. Really, really nicely laid out house. So, yeah. 
Is that going to be too chunky? I've got to remember that this is going under glass. So it mustn't be too big and too beady. So, um, yeah, so that's that really. I survived the dog sitting. Well, just, I mean, she caught me. She got the zoomies out in the garden, come running in, leapt on me, because she is just like seven-month-old tank. And, um, yeah, bruised my knee. <laughs> she absolutely got me a corker. So, yeah. So that was that, really. And, um... And tomorrow I get my friend's dog Willow, Fluffy Willow. So you've seen her, I've shown her on video before. So I should be doing lots of dog walking. But I intend to come home and do lots of crafting. I want to do crafting. I feel like I haven't been in my room properly for ages, even though I was in it last week. When I signed on on Wednesday, my colleague said to me, did you have a nice week off? I said, do you know what? I need a week off to get over my week off. I said, because it was just mad. Madness, I tell you. Right, I am going to fast forward this because I think it's going to take me a while because these beads, I think they're size 15s. And if you're into beads, they're tiny, basically. So I'll put you on whizzy whizzy and then I haven't got a rabbit on in your ears too much. <laughs> so I'll come back when it's um, when this heart is done. Right, there we are. Very sparkly. That took forever. <laughs> wow. They did not want to come off that fabric. And a few too many fibres, so I shall grab a piece of felt. Right, so for the next one, I think I'm going to do something different. So. What I thought of was... Um, doing more of a blanket stitch. 
they're super sparkly though I like that um, and then these ones I might just do quite simple stitching around them I've got my um, Sue Spargo book here yeah so I could do sort of like I um, uh, can't remember what it's called fly stitch because that's quite nice I don't know if you can see it that one there and maybe put a bead she's done a, a bullion knot so maybe a fly stitch with a bead might do it on the blue one let's try it on the blue one. Oh, well done <laughs> god oh my god susan only you could do that dear yes i know maybe my daughter hasn't fallen very far from the tree <laughs> the apple didn't fall far because i'm a klutz i'm not as eccentric and weird as she is so well maybe i am i don't know right let's not tip all of those out so let's get some all i was using was a um, single strand of that um pinky thread there so so that was all good because it is going through a beading needle so which is rather tiny and i'm wondering about if i can get two threads through those they've got slightly bigger holes they're about a size 11 seed bead and of course that's not going to split very nicely is it of course not I wonder if a normal needle No, I'm going to, have to use a beading needle. I think I've got a slightly I think there's a slightly larger hole here somewhere. Um it hasn't got a very big eye. I'm so naughty I never put my needles back where they should go as in in their packets I don't even think it'll go through there oh I don't know yeah it'll go through that one okay right let's see if we can get it on that one I think that's a very small no, I was going to say it's a, um, a chenille needle, but I don't think it is. But I want to try and get the two threads through. Oh, which I did. Thank heavens. I think what I'll do is I'll do the fly stitch first. And then we'll put the beads on after. What do you reckon? Sounds like a plane. Ugh. I can manipulate this lump of um what do I need to do? I need to go in there. There. Um Oh, it's getting very awkward now. I just want to come out just on the edge of that heart. You've got to go through the fabric, please. Thank you. Can't get it. Right, stay. Right, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're seeing, but I just can't get this to behave. I don't want to scrunch everything up too much, but I'm going to kind of have to. I'll do a couple with you again, and I think I'll put you on fast forward. I know a lot of people didn't like it last time, but really these videos will just be a, like hours long. 
and I know for some people that's okay but for a lot of people it really isn't so <laughs> they're usually quite long these um, stitching ones anyway I'll do as much as I can with you let's see how quickly this goes it might go quicker than the beaded one that just took forever so let's see let's see if we can whiz it's just it's just manipulating the fabric isn't it it's like everything oh, that rain has literally come from no well it come from the sky as i say it's come from nowhere but yeah you know what i mean i don't think it was forecasted because that's a lot a lot of rain poor people that have come down here for the bank holiday weekend they should know better it nearly always rains on a bank holiday weekend, which is this weekend. It's a bank holiday Monday. So they'll be pitching their tents and their caravans in the absolute pouring rain. But, you know, welcome to Devon. <laughs> so glad you come here for your holidays. <laughs> you're probably not right now if you're pitching a tent. be honest I've never been a fair weather camper I always loved camping I didn't care what the weather was rain snow you can chuck the lot at me it was fine as long as I had a dry bed to get into at night yeah didn't didn't give a monkeys didn't care at all I'll try and get this one right in that divot there yeah I love I do miss camping I will get back to it one day when I can actually afford a holiday. That'll be nice. It's been a while. <laughs> 15 years. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. I don't want you that far in. Not there. Good. I'll do. For a nice walk with my youngest this morning and the giant Hades that was quite nice yeah it's been a busy day already she said oh well, I, I've got to go out at half past seven in the morning so I said oh that's fine I was up <laughs> up showered ready didn't have any breakfast I can't eat before going on a long walk and I know with her it's usually at least an hour because Hades needs a good walk so um yeah I can't um can't walk on a on a full belly I don't know why never have been able to so consequently I'll get home from that I'm absolutely starving and then um Annie messaged and I thought well I'm not gonna have a I'm not gonna have time for a, a big breakfast so um I just had a bowl of what did I have oh shit um rice krispies I thought that'll do still trying to lose weight still not happening <laughs> I've booked in for, um, uh, you have to have a consultation with the diabetes people. I mean, I'm not diabetic, but obviously it's to stop, stop me becoming diabetic. They're going to, they're going to tell me everything I know. And I mean, that's the frustrating thing. I know that I need to lose weight, but it's just blooming losing it. You know, you get over 60, you're menopausal. <laughs> you've got the, you've got the whole flipping works going on. I don't eat cakes. I don't eat sweet stuff. Very rarely do I eat sweet stuff. Um, I mean, I've cut bread right out of my diet now. I've always eaten wholemeal. I don't understand why my blood sugar is doing what it's doing. I really don't. So it's slightly frustrating. I've got a consultation on the 1st of September. They do a phone consult first. And then... Um, and then you're asked to attend all these um, um, sort of like appointments. And it's right up. It's for a year. You had to commit to a year. I was like flipping it. So I'll go. You know, what the heck. But 
you know, maybe, um, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Whether I have too big a portions, could be, I don't know. I don't live with anybody to be able to judge my portions. Um, I wouldn't have said I eat excessively, but well, I have no idea. Sure, it is an age thing. I don't know. Like I keep saying. The yeah, I said I don't know if I said this to you guys, but the annoying thing is they've never asked me to come back for another test since having the high reading, and I thought, well, maybe I was having um, a high blood sugar day. I mean, I don't know. Do you get those? I don't know anything about diabetes. You know. I don't know. It'll all sort itself out. It'll all come out in the wash, as they say. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, then, do I like you there? Uh, kind of. I'll keep going. I'll put a few more on it. It'll probably look better. Move it down a bit. This is quite a thick wo woven fabric, this um, old tablecloth at the background. So. Interesting. Oh, the rain stopped. Hurrah. It'll fill up my water, but if nothing else, it was getting a little bit low. Mind you, the tomatoes are almost finished now, so I haven't got to worry too much. The weather beans are in the ground, so they just water themselves. That's fine. I've had so many runner beans this year. It's been amazing. We'll definitely grow them again next year. I must get around to digging up my potatoes, actually. But I thought with potatoes, you have to wait until all the vegetation dies off. And it's still very green, so I don't know. I shall need to Google it, I'm sure. And suss out when to pull the blooming things. Are you entertained? <laughs> it's boring, isn't it? Watching somebody stitch on a load of beads. Let's see if I can sneak across there and I'll speed it up if I can. Don't move. <sighs> Sorry, I know I keep moving it around, but I do find it difficult to manipulate this. I know I'm not the only one, so. Oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> Fine. You get caught in the fabric and lift all the beads off you. Shh. Stupid needle. Be picking them up for the next couple of days now. Be lovely. <laughs> tick tack, tick tack. Me. Little minkies. Yeah, a lot of these new houses they're building now. Going back to my daughter's house. Sorry, I'm just so impressed with it. It's lovely. Um, they they build the the hallways extra wide. Um, I think it's to you know make it bulletproof for like. Um, you know, if somebody with a disability goes in there, they can, and the doorways are all always extra wide. My other daughter's house is built like that. They're local, all they're not council houses, but they're um, um, housing association houses. Because to buy down here, the kids, well, 
the only way my daughter, my other daughter was allowed, able to afford a house was because she's got a really good job and her husband has a really, really well paid job. And that's the only way they could afford to buy a house in Devon because so many people buy up the little cheap properties as second homes down here. And of course our kids don't stand a chance, not a, not a snowball's chance in hell of um, of getting a a property at a good price, you know. So um, they are stopping a lot of it actually, if they're, um, you know, to, to keep communities going because there's communities in Cornwall that have just died. They, I mean, come winter, September, October time, th th there's nobody in them because they belong to holiday makers and... Uh, yeah, it's it's really sad because I say all these little communities now are dying off. So a lot of the Cornish villages, towns, whatever, are now putting in restrictions, which is about blooming time, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I don't begrudge anybody having a second home at all, don't get me wrong. But when you've got a low income area, which Devon is, you know, this this area, it really is. But you've got really high house prices. I'm I'm sorry, but I'm all for that local initiative, you know, that actually, because my eldest daughter, to get her property, she had to prove that she'd lived in this village. Well, she had to prove that she'd lived here for a long time, which luckily she had. I mean, she we moved here when she was eight and she's just turned 40. So, um, yeah, she had uh, local provenance, I think they called it something like that anyway and um yeah and i i'm all for that you know because we get too many people just sort of oh i want to move to devon uh well actually no you're not moving into one of the lovely brand new houses that have been provided for locals because you're not a local that's that's it i'm off my soapbox right so what should we do with those should we just do simple i don't know how long this video is gonna be <laughs> sorry it's probably gonna be forever um I don't know. I might get a variegated. Let's, let's let me just go and grab a variegated. I'll be back in two seconds. Right, I've got some variegated. We like a bit of vari variegation. So I think I might do that one on there. That one on there. And then the blue on the little blue. And then that'll be done. And I might do a whip stitch around that. Um, well, we use that silk. Because that'll look more of a pretty. What should we do first? Let's do the blue. Let's do the blue one first because that's Diddy. Now then, what shall I do? Let's see if I can get the needle threaded first. Need a bit of a chunky thread. I broke my na nails. Honestly, they're a bit of a disaster at the moment, so we won't look at those. I'm not having that um, stuff put back on them. It's absolutely destroyed my nails. Yeah, not going to have that again. Um, I can't what they call it. I might just do hmm. I'm just gonna tack this one down I think and then I'll do blanket stitch on the others because this dark blue is showing up quite nicely on here and yeah I've hit a slubby bit of the fabric there great Now my stomach's growling. <laughs> what the heck? It's nowhere near tea time. Be quiet. Oh, sorry if you can hear that.
got the um, West Point Craft Show next month. Now you know what it's like. I don't need anything. Not a blessed thing. I'll come back this time. Of course I will. I have started using Aurafil thread. I don't know if you've ever used it. Oh my lordy. The stuff is amazing. I um. If you follow Kate at the last Homely House, she does, um, they, Aurafil put together a colour kit, like the ones that she loves, and it was a little set that you could buy. Well, uh, A, it was an expensive little set, and B, the postage was quite phenomenal. Well, £3.45, which, which was a lot. It was only a little box, do you know what I mean? So um, anyway, she had a promotional thing on her website that it was free postage. I was a bit naughty and I thought do you know what now or never I'm not paying the £3.45p postage because I'm tight like that um, yeah so I treated myself to a box of it and I've been using it on some stitching um, just hand stitching slow stitching uh, which I sort of do downstairs at night really and um, yeah it's an absolute joy to work with um, I don't know whether there's something about the way it's made or something but it doesn't tend to twist up on you um, but yeah, it's it's been lovely to use, I must admit, and the colours are really good. So, yeah, treated myself to that. So, um, what I was kind of saying there, if they got any at the uh, West Point Craft Show, I might partake in buying a few more bulbs, because I know they do some lovely colours. You can get it online, but I'd rather buy it face to face. That'll do for that one. It's quite nice. I've got that on there I might do something very simple it's these things that are stopping me being able to grab this because I've got that pelmet violin inside giant lazy daisy in there Contemplating a third one, but I don't know if it needs it. No, I'll just do French knot. <laughs> Sorry, I know you've seen the blessed thing. Oh, did it even work? Oh, even I couldn't see that. Yes, it did. That's right. what the next thing's gonna be it should be out is it this wednesday well you know next wednesday i don't know my ort pot is getting very full at the moment i've got loads of orts right so i think that might look quite nice on that one but i think i'm gonna cherry pick a bit and go more for the pink i don't know it's got 
Mm, okay, we'll just do something. Um, how much would I need? I'd rather get over than under. These are threads that I've just had for so, so long. And um, I don't mind. I wouldn't say wasting them, but I don't mind if they kind of end up in the ought pot a lot. I know you're supposed to pull it one strand at a time, but seriously, life is a little bit too short for that. So. I'm just going to let this video run. Hope you're okay with that. I think there's much else I've got to tell you that's going on. Um, yeah, as I say, it's a bank holiday weekend. Um, I've only got two days to work next week, I think. Yes, I have. Whew, that's nice. I like the two day weeks. <laughs> oh. Um, what are you doing? Blanket stitch. Uh, I think I've just started that wrong, but anyway, we'll make it work. Yeah. And then from then, the following week, we then got to start going in one day a week, which I'm not best pleased about, but you know, it could be worse. It could be you've got to come back in full time again all the time you know so yeah actually it's not next week it's the week after yeah sorry I'm just trying to work that out in my head it's um, from September which will be the week after yeah I don't want to I've got no choice come on go through the thread for goodness sake um yeah I know a lot of firms are, are now sort of trying to, we want everybody back in the office. And everybody's like, no, you know, for three years, we work from home. So, I know I've told you before, but the trouble is where I work, which is County Hall, you can only park there. Because I'm part time, I'll only get one day parking a week. Now, before the pandemic, what I used to do was... Um, park on the industrial estate get on my bike and cycle through um, but I don't have my bike anymore and you know if we're going to be restricted to one day parking again I've got to drive about five miles out of my way to the other industrial estate where they do a park and ride bus for Devon County Council employees. And I'm like, no, I really don't want to do that. So, yeah. If the call comes that we've got to go in more than one day a week, I shall be resigning and uh, moving on and getting another job because I'm just not willing to do that. So I'm too old and I, I really just don't want to do it, quite simply. So. And it just changes. We keep getting new ops managers. And, you know, we'll get another one another time. And it'll be like, oh, no, no, just let everybody stay at home. It's fine. Because a lot of them work remotely, you know, because that's the irony. That is the irony. Because the one we've got at the moment, <laughs> everybody keeps saying to her, you know, oh, where are you working from today? And she's, well, I happen to be at home today. Yeah, you're always at home, love. You know, and then you're calling us back into the office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't sit well, should we say. <laughs> so. Yes. The world's a different place now. Everybody wants to hybrid work and there's so many what they what are they call digital nomads who, you know, work, but they they don't actually work in an office. They just work remotely. 
That'll do me. I can get a camper. <laughs> Just clear off. Oh dear, that'd be quite nice. Right, so that's that one. Oh, I've got to make a decision what I'm going to do on the next one now. What should I do? Um, it's quite a nice colour thread, that one. I don't think I've ever used that before. Interesting. Um, I don't know. What should I do around the red one? Maybe thread the needle while I think. Thread and think. I don't really want to do bullion knots. It's very dark. Where's the lighter red? Ah, here it comes. Right, we'll grab that bit instead. <clears throat> Are you all shouting at me? What shall I do? What stitch? I might do, I think chain stitch. I'm going to go chain stitch. I don't know if you were shouting that at me, but that's what I'm going to do. Come on, go through. Don't be awkward. Cute. So one more. A delivery man <laughs> not for me <laughs> i haven't bought anything start here It keeps on hitting a slub in the um, in the background fabric, so it's quite hard to get through at some points. That twisted. Why did you twist? Because I twisted it. Right. Okay. Back through. Untwist. Untwist. Keep. Hope I'm staying in camera. I apologise if I'm going out slightly. So be all I've done this stitchery hour 
probably do um, is move this blinking fabric around all the time but I guess you have to I haven't watched anybody else I don't know what everybody else is doing all over thank you yeah I've got quite a bit I want to get done I've got a a load of projects going on and I haven't even sort of <sighs> haven't really concentrated on any of them I'll be honest with you but it has been kind of busy so it'd be nice to get back to normal no more dog sitting which tends to happen less in the winter anyway so that's all good You wouldn't mind if I earned a fortune doing it, but I don't. <laughs> it's all done for love. Oh, my lordy. Right, actually talking about love. I was just thinking. It's probably not going to show up, but it might do. I'm going to put an arrow. Little Cupid's bow, what do you reckon? Probably not even going to be able to see this, but hey ho. I shall know it's there. You'll know it's there. And we are the only people that matter. Show up at all, <laughs> never mind. Like I say, we know it's there, so it's our secret, all right? All right? I think I got the beads out of my system, so that's fine. Although I might use some, I need to use them. I've got flipping thousands of the things, so um, I stopped doing beadwork many many years ago. A friend of mine still does it and makes you know, makes lovely jewelry and that, but I don't know, I never had much luck. She has loads of luck selling it. I did not, so... Right. Oh, dear, excuse me. Um, I'm thinking... thinking... Do you know, that one might be really nice. Because of the variegation. Just looking at it there, that might be really nice to go in there. Because it's got sort of pink and blue in there. I'm doing it. I've talked myself into that one. Let's grab that off there. Because um, you kind of can't see those stitches basically. So I should just do a really quick whip round and then call it a video. Sorry, I've not really talked much. No. Really? Come on. It's supposed to be easy now. Come on. Okay, two threads are here, so that's fine. If you're going to be that awkward. And I thought the cat had come in. <laughs> I haven't still and told her that dog's coming tomorrow. Crawl on, I. Never mind. She'll get over it. Oh, 
Yes, thank you for this fabric, Connie. I bet you didn't know it would be used in this. <laughs> Yonks ago you sent me that. Under the heart, up here, that'll do. Much easier to use the back of the needle in case you don't know that trick. If you're pretty new to stitching, you might not use the um, <clears throat> use the eye because that way you you don't um, you know you're not stabbing into the threads or the background fabric or anything. makes that stand out a lot better it actually highlights the fact that it is stitched there which is all groovy baby under there come out there a couple more I'm going to call it a video dee, 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 dee. right that's much better right I could go back the other way with another colour, but let's have a look, see what this looks like first of all. No, that's plenty. Right, uh, hopefully I stayed in frame for most of that. I'm pretty sure I did. So yeah, no, there's the invisible heart um, arrow. <laughs> like it. Yeah, cool. It's giving it some weight. Um, I'm hoping these will fit when I put the picture frame on. Um, if not, I might have to take them all off. But um, for now, they look super pretty. So yeah, I like that. Cool. Yeah, so wait for the next prompt and um, we'll go from there. It's all looking very pretty, isn't it? Very colourful. I wanted more colour. It was too sort of pinky, uh, sort of uh, purpley blues over here, but bringing that yellow in, yeah, made all the difference. And those, I love that thread. I'm really loving that. So it will all need a darn good pressing at the end, that's for sure. It's very wrinkly. Right, I'm going to let you go. Uh, thank you very much. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.